but women's E800 on the track right now, and you're right, who knows? It could come in any of these heats. You never know what the supply package is. But in hip number one, Chloe Johnston unattached. Number two, Emily Misford of Essendon. Number three, Lottie Callum of Box Hill. Number four, Remy McKay, also of Box Hill. Number five, Charlotte Ball of Box Hill. Number six, Pippa Dillon of Box Hill. Number seven, Kiara Baker of Doncaster. Number eight, Sophia Armstrong of Bellarine. Bellarine. I'm going to guess. Uh, yeah, good <laughs> guess. I like it. Number nine, Aisha Cassidy of Box Hill. Number 10, Annabelle Smith unattached. And number 11, Ruby Schultz of Box Hill. So a lot of home ground <laughs> advantage in this race. And it's going to be a really interesting one to try and figure out who is yeah. where from the other side of the track. Seth, I'm going to apologize yeah. in advance <laughs> if we are, uh, well, when we yeah. mix up these Box Hill. Really, our, our apologies there. But they're all out quick and they're all going to try and find a position as we've got the pacemaker back in here to try and take them through in a very comfortable first lap. So she's had no issues to get to the front there. And it is a sea of Box Hill, I think, at the front. So we'll try and call them as we can see them. But the girls are nicely bunched there, 200 metres into the race. And I I'm going to let you have a crack at this one, Jimmy, if you yeah, can try and figure out who's, who's I think it might have been Charlotte Ball. That's uh, the Box Hill girl leading at the moment. Certainly, it's the three girls from the inside. So... Um, if you go back to our start list, Lottie Callum, Remy McKay and Charlotte Ball. But we'll get a good ID on their hip numbers as they come around here. Yeah, we'll see how we can go here. I'm, I'm trying to get a read here 50 metres away. So they're about to come up to the bell. And that is on the inside there. It's Lottie Callum of Box Hill. And on the outside, Ruby Schiltz right behind them is Charlotte Ball and also... Aisha Cassavy coming through in about 112, 113. So it is literally about six Box Hill athletes at the front there. But on the inside, it is Lottie Callahan on the outside, Ruby Schultz. So as they change, we'll try and figure that one out. But they've given the pacemaker about five metres and she may step off here and she does. So now it's just a big contingent of Box Hill athletes to try and work their way out with 300 metres to go. And I believe that's Aisha Cassavy now on the outside of Lottie Callahan. So good luck here with 200 metres to go as they now all start to jostle the position. So I can't really tell who that is, but <laughs> it's going to be a hell of a finish, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say. Yeah, I can't believe it. There's <laughs> six or seven of those Box Hill girls. I mean, I'm sure a lot of these girls train together, so seven. there's going to be some bragging rights on seven. the line right here. Seven, seven Box Hill girls all there. That's fantastic <laughs> to see. I mean, it's such a good feeling when you're in a race and you've got your training partners and your teammates around you. It feels just like practice. But I tell you what, coming off the bend, these girls <laughs> want to beat each other so badly. And that's So Remy McKay of Ruby Box Hill, Schultz Ruby on Schultz the on the oh, inside. Doncaster. But the Doncaster athlete coming to spoil the party. Sophia Armstrong. I think she's I just think she's done it. it. Oh, no. She's just done oh, it. Oh, well timed, but she's... She's overrun the seven Box Hill athletes there and a great run by other girls. And you're right, working together as a team is always a great feeling. But the Lone Ranger of the Doncaster athlete there has come right on the outside and has pipped them literally at the line. And you probably couldn't get a more perfectly timed race than that. That's sensational running from Sophia Armstrong there of Doncaster. And I think you're right. There's probably a lot of training partners there. Uh, we're going to have to apologise. It's Kiara Baker, oh. Doncaster athlete. My bad, Kiara. I'm very... Ap um, I apologise. It was a hard yeah, read. Yeah, man. <laughs> ap apologise, we must, because that was a fantastic race. She did everything right. We had one job to call it, and yeah. we couldn't quite do that, but 